Hey there, and thank you for tuning into my presentation. I am going to discuss why we need to develop our own job keeper. This is something that I've been particularly passionate about the last couple of years as my role was made redundant due to the COVID cuts. And I want to help share my experiences, my learnings with you so you can be better prepared for uh, maybe being in a particular similar situation to uh, myself two years ago. So we're going to dive straight into it. Get your notebook book out. I've got a few activities to write down to make sure that this uh, presentation is engaging. So make sure you've got a pen and a notebook and let's get straight into the first exercise. So we're going to start with what would you do tomorrow if you were fired today? And really feel into it. So write down your monthly income if you lost your job. Do you have any side hustles or any other businesses that you can get some revenue with currently? Is there anything, any active revenue coming in outside of the job that you're employed with for those that are employed? But if you lost your part-time job, your casual work, if you're running a PT business, whatever it is that's your sole income, if that was gone tomorrow, what would you do? I'm going to discuss the importance of brand purpose, why it's so important to own your niche and be really specific with what your niche want and to grow a community, the power of automation. So Prepare Like a Pro is a semi-automated business and I'll talk about what automation looks like and how we do that and why scalability is key in today's world of business. This is our next exercise. I want you to list down your top two strengths. As I mentioned, it's a really competitive industry and you need to know what your strengths are what's gonna stand out. So when someone's looking around and they're searching to, for someone to solve their problem, why would they appoint you opposed to someone else? So for me, my top two strengths were my people skills, being a personal trainer and a Zoom teacher, I learned working with people at a very young age for, throughout my whole professional career. So I feel like that's a strength of mine. The iceberg theory of success uh, pretty much applies to, to anything, but uh, it's a good visual for me when I'm thinking about marketing because you can easily get distracted and lost in the world of marketing. And I'm sure I'm not alone in saying, uh, yeah, in being in, two years ago, I was in a position where I barely knew what Instagram was. I certainly didn't have an account. And uh, I like to stay in the shadows as most transitioning coaches do and wasn't comfortable being in front of a camera uh, and like to just sort of stick, stick to myself and focus on my work. Uh, and that served me in terms of working in elite sport for sure, but in terms of um, getting leads and having a successful business in the online world that's semi-automated, uh, it's something that I had to change. Uh, and like I mentioned, the flyers and the other form of connection was very limited because it was just my reach was simply the area that I was living in, which was the surf coast. 